Three, a route to America's military strategy The launch pad to Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean, especially Cuba The naval base was a strong point for maintaining America's new world order We need to understand about the new demand being made on our precious land That with the loss of the Panama Canal and Guantanamo Bay
homelessness. I consider a leader in my group. Okay? How we get our literature out to homeless people. Because a lot of homeless people don't have cell phones. They don't have a house that they can go to and get contact and get information to find out what's going on. So what we try to do is we try to find out in the different groups of community who's a strong leader to get the word out to. And my group, I was considered one of the strong leaders. So we had different meetings coming up of protests or actions. They would tell me. And I would go out and tell my different group members, yo, y'all need to come to this meeting. Check out what they're doing. They do make a change. This organization is about doing something to help all these people. And a lot of times we have went out with our different leaders and we tell them what was going on. And we get a nice turnout. That is one of the reasons why I stay around the picture of the homeless. Because this organization is about something. We care. We try to make a change. This is also one of the organizations that when I first started out, I came up with doing a paper called Fit in Reality. It was one of my first pieces that I helped write and put together. We have about 14 different rules up there where we saw the myth of what goes on and then the reality of what really happens to a homeless person. Please make sure you grab the proper paper on the back table we have our literature on because it's one of the things that I myself and I'm very proud of. I help, I help put together. Um, the same that I believe I'm finished right now. That will determine at what levels life will be sustainable for the vast number of current urban dwellers in the future. Cut in global urban areas, and urban populations are doubling faster than even Thomas Robert Malthus would have conceived when it's 1798. He wrote a trustee consisting of 50,000 words entitled An Essay on the Principles of Population and Its Effects on the Future Improvement of Society. Today as we gather here at this historic moment of our nation's history, at the first ever U.S. Social Forum, we are charged to find viable alternatives to Reagan and Thatcher's neoliberalism that has been the source of subtle genocide and domestic terrorism since the 1980s. We who have ventured here must embark upon building, mobilizing, and organizing a national movement from the grassroots upward based on the principle of participatory democracy. <clears throat> any learned mind would be hard pressed to refute the fact that in any equation, when one variable changes, the ultimate outcome will no longer be the same. Today, we no longer dwell in the times of Adam Smith. This is not 1776, but 2007. We have been and continue to be impacted by the consequences of the African slave trade, the feminist movement, colonialism, neocolonialism, and neoliberalism. Yes, currently, we are far removed from the world of past economic planners and thinkers. We have borne witness to the age of industrialization and moved on to computerization and now globalization. <clears throat> we must ask ourselves how relevant is the so-called invisible hand envisioned by Adam Smith in 1776 here in 2007. If it is still as invisible now as Adam Smith viewed it in 1776, and if, quote, time is still money, why then do so many of us poor folk work so many long hours or sometimes two jobs here in America?